passing for his elect in Israel is that Armageddon will transpire as we do our duty declaring Christ as the head of government. Matthew 24, 31. Rejection of corruption in high places of government and secular humanism in our communities will fade away. The new heaven and new earth is a Christian society in which we live, not in outer space. Okay. To find out how all blessings work with God, turn to Genesis 12, 2, 3. God blesses the nation okay. of Israel, making its name great. Name another nation other than Great Britain that has great in its name. Okay. It says it will be a blessing. God will bless them that bless us and curse them that curse us. And in our white race shall all other races of the earth be blessed. America has not been blessed as blinded Americans have supported the Israeli Jews since 1948. We have been going downhill with curses. Don't you think it makes sense to quit blessing the Jesus killers? Second Chronicles 19.2 says, Wrath is upon us if we help or love those who hate the Lord. It's sad, Romans 9.2, that our racial kinsmen in Israel are so ignorant about God adopting us as his sons for the glory. The covenant giving of the law, service of God, and the promises that belong to our racial forefathers and his white Christ came concerning the flesh. The genetic heirs. Psalm 78, 5, 6 commands the fathers of Israel to make God's laws known to their posterity. Only Israel has been given God's word. No other race is relevant regarding what God has desired in, in this matter. Psalms 147, 19, 20. Now, the new covenant is made with Israel only. Hebrews 8, 10. And that is why we are made different, because he supernaturally put his law into our mind and written in our hearts as he has not done with any other people. And so God wants his people to dwell alone, Numbers 23, 9, to be separate. God made the separation and distinction, not man. Levit Leviticus 20, 24, and 1 Kings 8, 53. The Lord has chosen Israel for his peculiar treasure. Psalms 135.4 and Deuteronomy 14.2. Above all the races that are upon the earth, Israel will be God's servant race. Isaiah 45.4.49.3. In whom are you God doing an auction? Before, the separations are by geography, as the Most High Creator has made all the tribes and nations of Israel and his Ordain the appointed nation's boundaries, Acts 17, 26, of where they will be permanently, Samuel 7, 10, and 1 Chronicles 17, 19, restored physically in America, described as inheriting the desolate heritage. You see that in Isaiah 49, 8, 35, 1. The Lord said a word unto Jacob, and it hath light and fallen upon Israel. Isaiah 9, 8. What a blessing to arise, shine, for thy light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Behold, the darkness of all priests shall cover the earth, but the Lord is risen upon thee. Behold the darkness. What? <laughs> His glory shall be seen upon thee, Israel. Isaiah 61 2. To see, one must look. America is the greatest Christian nation in the history of the world. <laughs> and some Christian ball priest tells you America is not the Bible that would be an incredible oversight on God's part, would it not? The key to Armageddon is all the hot wash of wolves in sheep's clothing and the pulpit pimps that dream up false doctrines. Who has the Bible in abundance today? Who translates, publishes, distributes, and expounds it to the Gentile nations? It is the white race, the great commission directed to the white disciples in Mark 16, 15. 
to go into all the known world at that time and preach the gospel. But before going to the far reaches, we get at Jerusalem, Luke 24, 47, and preach repentance and remission of sins in Jesus' name. Then to the other nations to be a blessing. When a white man, an Israelite, rejects the good news of his God-given identity, he also rejects the blessings from the end and one only, the one and only true God. Do an experiment with Deuteronomy 28. Test each verse as to whether or not these blessings have materialized in America. In Malachi 4, 5, and 6, the spirit of godly motivations of Elijah, Elijah or whatever, is turning or teaching a child of multitude attitude of the fathers, leaders of our nation, to the history of the children of Israel and the children of Israelites today towards their fathers, the Old Testament patriarch. If you are seeking the Lord and want to do that which is right, then you will look unto the rock whence you are hewn, Isaiah 51, 1, 2, by discovering your racial history in the Bible, you will find that God called Abraham our father alone and blessed him. If you have not already accepted these truths, look in a mirror and tell yourself you can live without God's gift. 